So it's November, which means we're full steam ahead into Thanksgiving. If you don't know, every year in November, I spend all month tackling prep for Thanksgiving. And every year in December, I spend all month tackling prep for Christmas or whatever holiday you might celebrate that. So I have a whole kind of two months of holiday content already on the channel and it's in a playlist on the main homepage of my channel if you wanna check those out. And again, I have a holiday plan of attack coming. Within the week, I should be releasing it and it'll be live on my website and behind a little bit of a paywall to kinda of help support the show. So today we're starting our holiday prep with a very special dish. A dish I had growing up at every Thanksgiving that my grandma made and it's very strange. It's a kale recipe. Essentially what we're just gonna do is tear this kale up, clean it up, throw it in some boiling water and boil it for like 45 minutes or an hour. Just really cook it down till it's tender and then we'll drain it and then coat it in a little bit of olive oil, some garlic powder and breadcrumb. I know, it's very strange. Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. It's gonna do something to this kale and make it delicious. I was eating kale as like a five-year-old kid and I was getting seconds from it on Thanksgiving. It was one of my favorite things to eat. I know a lot of you are thinking right now like, I can't believe this kale recipe. I hate kale, I'm not gonna make it. But trust me, I was a five-year-old kid devouring this and I was a picky eater, maybe one of the pickiest eaters. My grandma was serving kale to us when I didn't even know what it was and before it was even cool. And, and in light of kale becoming more popular, I've never seen it made any way like this. So today we're gonna take that recipe and I'm gonna upgrade it, right? Because as delicious as it was, there's no texture and she's serving a dish with breadcrumbs without ever trying to make the breadcrumbs crispy at all. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow that same method and then we're just gonna take it an extra step by putting it in a baking dish, putting some breadcrumbs on top and finishing it off with a nice crispy kind of finish that's I think is gonna add some texture that is needed to the dish and make it more palatable to sort of anybody else who might be watching. I just think anything that's baked is a little bit more appetizing. It's really simple, really easy way to prepare it. So let's just jump right into it. So I have here two small bunches of kale but to me, they really make one bunch. Like this is what one bunch should be. These are two small bunches. These two can feed maybe two to four people. One of these might feed one to two people. So I'm gonna make this recipe for about three, three to four people. Then you can scale up from there. And again, this is very much an eyeball thing. I'm gonna provide some measurements, but you really have to learn how to feel this one out. So first thing I wanna do is clean this kale. I know it's dirty. I've already seen some little critters coming out of it. That's natural. Part of the gig with kale, you just gotta clean it, throw it in a bowl of water, and you'll see all that dirt sort of fall to the bottom. Now you can eat the the stems, but she always just tore the kale off the stem. So that's how I'm gonna make it. So you can see a few little flies in there. Not much dirt, but bugs live in these plants. So you gotta clean them a little bit. Depending on how dirty they are, you might have to wash the lettuce leaves a couple of times. I'm just gonna do it two times and uh, call it a day, but you make that decision on your own if they're super dirty. Then I'm just gonna take the kale, throw it in a nice big pot. Now this will cook down, so if you're cooking more than I am, you can really pack this thing up and add to it as it's boiling, because this will cook down and it'll create more space for you to add more in. So if you're doing a big batch, just start to throw as much of it in as you can. And as the water boils and cooks this down, just add more and add more until you could fit it all and then just let it go. So now I'm gonna fill this up with water. Some nice fresh cold water in there. I'm gonna take some salt. Get that in there, we wanna season that kale. Now that's it, we're gonna put this onto the stove, get the heat cranked up, bring this up to a boil, and we're really like sort of gonna boil this for a long time. We're gonna keep pushing it down and mixing it because it's gonna wanna float and wanna make sure we get give it all time in that water. It may not smell particularly great throughout the entire process, but trust in it. In the end, it will be delicious, I promise.
I'm just gonna drain this now through a colander. I'm not gonna squeeze it, I'm just gonna drain it like pasta. Pour it into the colander, let all the water kind of pour out. But I'm gonna show you in a bowl. So if you wanna just drain this like pasta, you can. Get it as dry as you can. Toss that kale into a big bowl now, and I'm gonna take some olive oil, and we want to add enough to coat it so that the breadcrumbs will stick. Then she adds like a small amount of garlic powder. Probably, I'm gonna add about a half teaspoon to a teaspoon, and then start to mix in the breadcrumb. I know it's weird, doesn't make sense, boiled kale, breadcrumbs, you gotta just go with it. You gotta trust in grandma. So I'm just gonna add a little bit at a time and it's just gonna soak that up. Add a little salt. So now the breadcrumbs have sort of combined with the kale and sort of hold each other together. And this is it. This is how my grandma would really serve it. But as you can see, it doesn't really look great. It tastes really good. You have to trust me on that, but I wanna make it a little bit better. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bake it. Take some of the reserved breadcrumbs. I have about a half cup here. I'm gonna mix them with some panko, and then I'm gonna top it, a little bit of olive oil on top, throw it in the oven, get that crisp. Then that's our upgrade, and then we're gonna serve it. All I have here is a little baking tray. You should have one of these if you're hosting the holidays. I have different shapes and sizes, small guys, multiples, so you can put them on two sides of the table. A bigger one, you use whatever you have and what works for you, and if you don't have something like this, you can get creative and use a different type of tray. I'm just gonna go in. So now we put those crispies on top. Finish it on olive oil so that it'll get nice and crispy all over. You wanna make sure all those breadcrumbs get a little bit moistened by that olive oil so they get browned and not like pale. And that's gonna go into a 450 degree oven, 475, doesn't really matter. We wanna get some nice color on it. We wanna get everything nice and hot. And then we're gonna pull it out. I'm telling you guys, it's coming together. So now, this takes what was already delicious and adds more complexity, more texture, more contrast and it takes it to another level. Instead of just like soft, delicious, tasty kale, you have some soft, delicious kale, and on top of that, you have some sort of clustered, brown, caramelized bits. You got some nice crunch from the breadcrumbs. You get the soft contrast of the kale at the bottom mixed with the crunchy on top. Hmm. Think like braised collard greens, except we're using kale, we're using a little breadcrumbs, which I, I just don't understand, but it, it really does make it delicious. It sort of acts as a binder, I guess, but I think it's a nice touch. Adding some breadcrumbs on top and then throwing it and baking it feels more like a holiday dish to me. This brings back such memories. I would eat seconds and thirds of this and nothing else. And again, I was the pickiest eater as a kid, believe it or not. So please give this a try. It's good for you. You need some greens on the table. I know it's weird, but you gotta trust grandma. Just another quick reminder of the holiday plan of attack that I'm gonna be releasing. If you're interested at all, just be on the lookout. I have to polish it up. It's a lot of work, but it's all gonna go to support the show and to support the people who help out the show. And of course, to help you guys bang out Thanksgiving like a pro. I'll make a real announcement and a video, I think, for it, but keep a lookout. That's all that I have today. It's holiday season. I'm psyched up. Hope you guys are ready for a great holiday. That's all that I have today. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself and go feed yourself. Mm -hmm.